In this video, we will try to install a front bumper on a John Deere 100 series lawn tractor or lawnmower. We will start with this view of a John Deere D140 without a front bumper. In this view, we can see the front bumper and installation hardware included. For reference, this is a John Deere front bumper part number BG20944. The bumper includes tubing that is 3.18 centimeters or 1.25 inches. Here's a close-up view of the hardware including plastic end clips, clevis pen, washers, and spring locking pins. In this view, we can see the side of the bumper including the bracket that will be installed in the frame rail. When looking closer at the bumper bracket, we can see a tab and hole. The tab and hole will align and hold the bumper in place in the frame rail. This is a view of the frame rail where the bumper bracket will be installed. When looking closer, we can see two square holes that will match the position on the bumper bracket. This is the view from the front where both frame rails can be seen. Also seen is the muffler for the engine. The muffler for the engine should be cooled to outdoor or surrounding temperature before the installation process begins. As seen, we will begin to install the bumper. We will line up the bumper brackets with the frame rails. Although this is demonstrated on a John Deere D140, this bumper should fit almost all John Deere 100 series except the G100. Here's a closer view of the bracket starting to be inserted into the frame rail. Here's another view looking from the outside of the frame rail. The tab of the bracket is now at the edge of the rail and can be pushed in further. As seen when the bumper is pushed in, the bracket slides along the frame rail until the tab holds it in place. The clevis pin can then be inserted through the bumper bracket and then out the frame rail. Here is the view of the clevis pin coming out of the frame rail. The spring locking pin can then be inserted in the clevis pin to hold it. Here is a close up view of the hardware installed on the left side of the lawn tractor. This process was repeated with the bumper bracket, frame rail, and hardware on the other side of the lawn tractor. Here is a close up view of the hardware installed on the right side of the lawn tractor. As seen, the hood can be opened and closed without removing the bumper. Here are additional views with the bumper installed on the lawn tractor. This bumper was purchased to provide protection to the front of the lawn tractor. This would include the engine, the muffler, and to reduce the damage to the plastic hood. Have you installed a bumper on your lawn tractor? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.